Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash and the DCU because we got news today in regards to a certain actor who used to be in The Flash TV show saying he might return in the future. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so if you've missed any of my videos over the last couple of days, please be sure to go check them out. They're all on the channel. Did one yesterday on the Smallville sequel show potentially happening. That's something that I know a lot of you guys are very interested in. So shout out to all of you who have watched the video. But if you missed it, go check it out. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Tom Kavanagh because he has said at a recent Comic-Con event that he would love to return and play the Reverse Flash once again. Now, he was just asked this at Comic-Con and it was just, you know, a local Comic-Con where he was showing up and he was asked and there is a video that is online that you can actually watch. I'll leave the link in the description below where he answers the question. And he actually answers it in a really funny way. So I highly recommend you actually watch it. And James Gunn replied to that. We'll talk about that in a minute. But just the way that he does it, he's like almost doing like a pitch to James Gunn being like, James Gunn, I'm here. I'm not working right now. Grant Gustin's busy. He's on Broadway, but I'm here doing Comic Con. So please accept me, James Gunn. So it's just funny. He's having fun with it and having fun with the people in the room, of course. But yeah, I think I truly believe that he would be down to return as Reverse Flash if he was asked to. Obviously, the question is in regards to him showing up in James Gunn's DCU. Would James Gunn want him and would Tom accept? And of course, Tom says he would accept. But the question is, are they going to do anything with the Flash or are they going to do anything with a reverse Flash? Like, that's even a bigger question because, you know, do they go reverse Flash? Do they go Zoom? Do they go another avenue when they eventually get to the Flash in the DCU? So for now, we're not going to see anything. And I like that he's addressing this and he's so open and he's having fun with it. And he's saying, I would love to work with you, Gunn listen up but for now there is nothing concrete to this like this is literally just him chatting and responding to a question but it's good to hear that him grant gustin and some of the other cast members are all down to return of course if they were asked to and i could see it happening but it's still you know very far-fetched because i don't think james gunn is going to be like necessarily going back and stretching towards like the old DC actors who have worked on stuff like you've seen in the Arrowverse, like many actors come back many times playing like different roles. And so for now, James Gunn is building this new universe, this new DCU. And in this universe, it's going to be mainly people that have not been in DC before and kind of restarting. Although people's argument obviously is that you've got Peacemaker who is returning, you've got Amanda Waller, you've got all these other characters that are linked to James Gunn that he is kind of soft rebooting like he's taking those characters over he's using the same actors because he likes them and he's worked with them but everything else he's resetting so what's to say that they couldn't get the Arrowverse involved couldn't get someone like Tom Kavanagh to return as his character but as always James Gunn has been active online and he actually replied to some fans asking him hey James Gunn have you seen this in regards to Tom Kavanagh and he replied with a laughing emoji. Now at first, when people didn't actually see the video, seeing that Tom was joking and you know, having fun with the question, being like, yes, James Gunn, call me up right here, right now, I'm available and I can work for you as the reverse flash. He replied with that laughing emoji, but he had to clarify that anyone responding to this thinking I'm laughing at Tom obviously hasn't watched the clip, he's being hilarious and I'm acknowledging that. And obviously that is just, you know, the circumstance is funny, he's not laughing at the idea of Tom being like, please cast me as Reverse Flash once again, James Gunn, which obviously could be your instant response if you haven't seen the video, but like I said, go check that video out. It's in the link in the description below. So a fan says, I highly doubt Tom was being serious. I think he was humorous about his answer and James saw that and found it funny. I'm pretty sure James Gunn respects Tom and everything the Arrowverse did to allow the audience to get a foot in the door with DC. James replies to that, of course, and Tom was hilarious in that clip. So James Gunn replied to this saying he respects the Arrowverse, he respects what Tom has done as Reverse Flash and as the person asking James Gunn said, 
it's pretty unlikely that Tom was being serious, like, this is my audition, this is my time, like, I want to come back right now as Reverse Flash. Yeah, he was definitely not being entirely serious, but I don't think you can see that and be like, okay, he definitely doesn't want to return. So what do I think of all of this? Well, I like the idea of actors coming back. I liked that in the Arrowverse, they honored the projects that came before, you know, you had Helen Slater coming back as a different character, obviously, as Supergirl's mom instead of Supergirl. You've had in Crisis, like Tom Welling showing up as his Smallville version of Clark Kent, and then you've had like Erica Durant show up as Supergirl's mom from Krypton, obviously, in Supergirl. And I like that they paid respect to that, and I liked the way they did it as opposed to the way the DCU did it, especially in the Flash film where they kind of really shooed in all the cameos and they were just cameos for the sake of it and we know that James Gunn has said he does not want to do that he wants to if anyone does cameo at any point have a true reasoning behind it and actually think it out and make it have like an actual impact rather than just be like a moment just for the sake of it that is just like fan service so yeah I think at some point down the line we could see a couple of ex-DC actors show up in different projects don't know if necessarily they'll be playing the same actors so if Tom Cavanaugh was to show up maybe he wouldn't play the reverse flash just like we've seen in the Arrowverse with all those actors playing different characters so I would say yeah probably likely that maybe Grant Gustin could show up don't know how likely Tom Cavanaugh but he's a respected actor so James Gunn could totally you know accept him coming into the DCU at one point but I think that's going to be way down the line like right now he is building this new universe they are barely even starting like we haven't even had our first project they've got to introduce new characters they've got to introduce new storylines and there is so much that they have to do before they can even get to a point where they're like the MCU and then they can you know do like those old characters cameoing once again like in Spider-Man you know when we got like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire back that didn't happen straight away like that happened in the third Spider-Man film it took a long time to get there and they had like huge films in between them with like the Avengers and everything and Endgame Infinity War so it's not gonna happen fast but if we do get some of these characters appearing once again it's gonna be like 10 years down the line if it's still going of course because the DCU uh, doesn't have like a very good track record in terms of like you know the universe building I'm talking about DC as a whole here not just DCU so that pretty much does it for this video guys sorry for the little bit of a ramble towards the end of the video but you kind of get my idea where I'm saying where I'm coming from here right like I'm saying Tom Kavanagh definitely wasn't like being completely serious with his comments and I like the way that he went about it and I like the way that James Gunn responded to it I think fans online have just misinterpreted it and I think he's just like a funny guy and it was just like a nice way to go around it and I would totally be open to see him return and see other people return but for now that's definitely not their priority in the DCU so that's kind of what I was saying at the end of the video but if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would really help this video get out there. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications. Turn on that bell so you don't miss any videos. We're uploading pretty much daily right now. As I said at the start of the video, we have lots of content up on the channel. We're also streaming every week. So please be sure to tune in every Thursday when we live stream. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, Click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.